My name is Eva Kohlberg and I'm here at Litzinger Road Ecology Center and I'm going to talk to you today about ants and seed dispersal. So seed dispersal by ants um, is actually a pretty common occurrence worldwide. There are over 11,000 different species of plants that are adapted for this and the typical way in which plants have this adaptation is that they have a gooey fleshy appendage to their seed and this is called an eliosome just means oil body. And so in this eliosome, there are all sorts of different compounds, a um, mixture of fats and proteins and carbohydrates that also tend to be very attractive to ants. Uh, some, some of these will often mimic like a dead insect, which a lot of ants will prey upon or search for and for food. So once the ants come across these, they'll um, be attracted to these, they'll end up maybe picking them up and if they're strong enough and big enough they can actually carry the seed carry the other liasome and the seed attached to it and they'll take it back to their nest where they can feed the liasome to their family members and then they have the seed and it's farther away from the parent plant than it was before this is in a simple way the ants are dispersing the seed Here at the base of this tree, we have some of one of my favorite ant dispersed plants in our region. This is bloodroot. And so if you were to break a little piece of it, it would start oozing um, kind of a red substance, hence the name. Um, but this is ant dispersed. And so we've taken some of these seeds and we'll show you some of those. But in general, the pod would come off. This pod has already broken apart and all the seeds have disappeared for the most part. There are a few still that the ants haven't gotten. But something that might happen is once the ants are able to access those seeds and the fruit, then they can take them back to their nest. So maybe an ant would take it, maybe it would head over to its nest in, for example, a log. And so you might be thinking, why would a seed want to be in a log? Is that a good place to germinate? I have definitely seen ant dispersed plants coming out of logs. Um, and in general, there are some little seedlings here. Other things can also grow <laughs> in them. But what often happens um, for a lot of the seeds that are dispersed by ants to something like a log is that they won't stay there. The ants will remove that eliosome, but then they're done with the seed itself. It has nothing left for them. And so they kind of treat it like trash and they'll take it out they're just cleaning house. And so then the seed ends up somewhere around the log and then oftentimes the area by an ant nest is um, because they're taking out all this trash it's a little higher in nutrients so that can be a really good thing for the baby plant that starts to grow from the seed. So it's a little bit more than just the seed being taken by the ants to a new place but there's a little more complex interaction there afterwards. So one of the easiest ways to see this mutualism in action is if you have some piece of paper index card just to have a nice white surface you can have a contrast of the seeds with the ants and the background it just makes it a little easier to see than the forest floor and so this here is the pod of a celandine poppy it was definitely not ripe when we broke it open but you can still see that the seeds are a little bit darker and then the eliasome is this whiter bit and the eliosome is again the part that the ants would be interested in. Because these aren't super ripe, I think they're just not as appealing to the ants right now. They're also a little smaller than some of the other seeds we have down here. We have some wild ginger over here, and that is a significantly smaller pile than what we started with. You can see another ant right now going to it. And we also did the same thing with some bloodroot seeds. 
And so these are just a few of the plants here, even at Let's Girl Ecology Center, that are dispersed by ants. Um, something like trillium, different sedges, violas, um, those will all also be seeds with the lysomes that ants will take. So here we have a little Athenogaster ant, and you can see she's taking the seed this way into this nest hole in the log. You can see all the little bits and shavings that have already been kind of excavated from it. And so there's going to be a hole that she's making her way in. There's her sister coming by. And so eventually she'll be bringing that into the nest. And where that seed will go, they'll take it to where the brood is, and so they can feed that lysome to their larvae. Um, and then, again, the seed itself is no longer useful to the ants, so they can leave it there. This species in particular tends to take the seed out of their nest, um, so they can put it in the nearby area, kind of with a lot of their other trash, um, which tends to be pretty nutrient-rich, which is good for the seeds once they emerge and start becoming baby plants. So hopefully that gives you a little taste of what Myrmecacori, the dispersal of seeds by ants, looks like here in the Singer Road Ecology Center, as well as Missouri in general. I love this interaction because it's something that the ants are benefiting from and the plants are benefiting from, to varying degrees. There's, we've seen one species here in particular, but when you actually start looking at these for a long time, there are a bunch of different ants that will come to the seeds. Some of them will take the seeds different distances. Some will just take the elisomes and leave the seeds where they are, robbing the seed, so to speak. Um, so there's a whole lot of variation that can happen within it, which I think is fascinating. My research in particular at UMSL, I'm looking at how prescribed burning affects this interaction. Um, and so I'm wrapping that up. Um, I've done some work at Shaw Nature Reserve for that and Tyson Research Center as well. But yeah, there's a whole lot more to be discovered here uh, within this interaction with all these different species, and hopefully this gets you interested in it too. Thank you.
There is three ants trying to carry this one.